a blueprint for a sustainable earth. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 489. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together the people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our August 7th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is a blueprint for a sustainable earth. One community is creating a blueprint for a sustainable earth, and to achieve that, to make it a viable blueprint for a truly sustainable planet, we have looked at all of the foundations of sustainability and said what is necessary to create a completely sustainable civilization. And in doing that, we realize that it's more than just food, energy, and housing, which are the physical foundations of sustainability that most people think about when you say sustainability. Like, oh, what is sustainability? Oh, it's sustainable housing, sustainable energy, sustainable food. But it's so much bigger than that. And so what you see in the background of this video is the physical infrastructure aspect of it. But the deep foundation of what it is that we're creating is so much more than that. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about a blueprint for a sustainable earth and what that includes. Well. It obviously includes the physical foundations of sustainability. And we've already said, what are those? Food, energy, and housing. But in addition to that, we really asked ourselves, like, what are the emotional foundations of sustainability? And in answering that question, we identified that they are what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all of these things together to build teacher demonstration hubs designed to demonstrate themselves as a blueprint for a sustainable earth and to function as the blueprint for a sustainable earth by teaching other people how to create and build and construct teacher demonstration hubs as well. And they're designed to demonstrate a way of living that is better than the way that most people are living right now because it is built on physical foundations of sustainability as well as the emotional foundations of sustainability so that the living experience is overall better. It's more enriching. It includes more time to do the things that you want to do and more social and recreational activities to, to participate in in that additional free time that you have. It's founded on a model of cooperation and collaboration that reduces the living experience time or the time that needs to be invested in just general living day-to-day -day activities like laundry, uh, making your own food, child care, going to the grocery store, these kinds of things, you know, how, cleaning up your house, that kind of stuff. And so how does it do that? Through cooperation and collaboration. Two or three people can produce enough, can cook enough food for 50 people. And if those two or three people are really love, love cooking, and that is their joy and their passion, the quality of that food is going to be better than something that I might throw together for 50 people with a couple of my friends. You know, same thing. Two or three people can do the laundry for 50 or 100 people very, very easily. And in return, somebody else is going to cook their food. In the meantime, if each and every one of us says, hey, I'd like to share my gift, whatever I'm most passionate about as a social or recreational activity, then now we have 50 different people offering 50 different options and something that would appeal to everybody. And so it's like, oh, well, I like to exercise. So if you'd like to come and join me for an exercise session or yoga, or maybe I like to play soccer or basketball or, or football or something like that, I've got a game that's going at this time and anybody who wants to participate can. Now... You and everyone else that lives within our community have access to that anytime that they want. They just walk out their door and go and participate. And that's one example. Maybe it's a debate club. Maybe it's a book club. Maybe it's a nature walk. Maybe it's time with our kids. You know, maybe it's game night. Maybe it's movie night. It could be any of these different things all put together. And so the idea of a blueprint for sustainable earth is taking these physical foundations, reducing the cost and the emotional, uh, not the emotional, and the health uh, detriments that are inherent now in our traditional society that grows food with pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides that builds 
built homes that are loaded with toxins and things that have been shown to cause cancer, you know, that produces energy that also has outputs that cause cancer and reduce our health. It's about taking all those things and saying like, hey, we can do this sustainably in a way that doesn't have all that. And then adding to that all of these emotional, these positive emotional foundations to provide a way of living that most people consider to be way better than they are right now. And then open sourcing and free sharing that so it's accessible to everybody and so that the open source free shared foundations can be used to meet diversely different values and goals so that there's something that we're supplying and providing for everyone and and making it easy enough affordable enough and demonstrating putting all this together as attractive enough or even the individual components so that it will spread on its own and so everything that we're designing is is modular so that if somebody's like, oh, I'm not interested in this sustainable housing thing, I'm not really even interested in the energy, but I am interested in this education model that's really kid-centric and really focuses on teaching kids how to learn instead of exactly what to learn, that inspires me. I'd like to do a home-based education model. Well, great, that it can be implemented individually as its own component. You know, or maybe people are only interested in sustainable energy, like micro hydro or some of the research that we've done on that. Or maybe people are just interested in growing something new from the highest good food approaches and the large scale gardening and those kinds of details that we've researched. Or maybe somebody is interested just in uh, starting a recycling business based on all the research that we've done on how best to address plastic recycling on the community level or glass or paper or clothing. Like we've created tutorials for all of those. So the idea is that our blueprint for sustainable earth is designed to provide something for everyone and to make it easy enough, affordable enough and designed so that it is attractive enough and to demonstrate that it is attractive enough so the idea will spread its own. And the most amazing thing about this is the more fun that we're having, the more amazing, the more artistic, the more beautiful we make it, and the more we open source and free share it so it is shared with the world so that more people have access to it, the faster it will spread and the more we will thrive as well. And so it is truly based on a highest good approach to the complete concept of living in that the more that we give, the more that we get. The more that we share, the more that we get. The more amazing that we make our environment for each other and the more we demonstrate how awesome this is, the more that we get on top of that as well. This is our idea for a blueprint for a sustainable earth and how we can create a sustainable world within our lifetime. So yeah, we're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We're 100% unpaid volunteer staff, including myself, creating this because we want to live this way, creating this because we see a sustainable world within our lifetime as a possibility, and this is a pathway to, to achieving that, and <clears throat> creating it because it's the right thing to do. I cannot think of any higher purpose or calling than this. You know, to create a sustainable planet for my, my son and for his children and for future generations and a model like this that's designed to address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come, not just climate change, but social injustice, inequality, war, poverty, um, crime, homelessness, food insecurity, lack of energy infrastructure. All of these things are built into the model and by creating teacher demonstration hubs designed to be built around the world to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. We can take the resources and the knowledge to the places that need them most, and we can create a global cooperative and collaborative working together on this blueprint for a sustainable earth, and we can create a sustainable earth. We can do it within our lifetime. And so this is what one community is up to. This is how we're creating a world that works for everybody, and this is what I've dedicated my life to, and everybody's invited to participate. So if you want to know how, visit our helping page. If you want to help out in the easiest way possible, like and subscribe. <clears throat> so easy, like every single one. Watching to the end of this video alone helps our algorithm. So that's another way. Stick around for two more minutes and you will see bullet points on the rest of our uh, major components of our project. You'll help our algorithm by doing that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you'd like to see all the work that our, our all-volunteer team has accomplished in the last week, visit our weekly progress update. And of course, um, if you would uh, like to see all the open source tools and resources and content that we have created, visit our website. This is what we're up to. This is how we're creating world change. This is our path to a blueprint for a sustainable earth that can actually create a sustainable earth. And as always, until next week, first of all, thanks for watching to the end. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, 
sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.